Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing one mile on my left arm and one on my right arm, and using these together, I can, can play the new uh, Call of Duty Ghost game here. So right now, I can move around uh, using my right arm, so I can make really small motions, or I can make bigger motions, and that's something where the sensitivity can be adjusted just like you would with a mouse. Um, and I can actually disable that by doing a certain gesture. Um, see that again. Uh, so I can start walking through the world here. Um, it'll come up on this where I need to crouch under it, so I can do this action with my left hand to actually crouch down. Um, get back up here. Big pile of junk here. I can do some action with my left hand here to jump up. There we go. Jump in. <laughs> so I can, what I can actually do is with my left hand here, I can just squeeze to shoot, just like pulling a trigger, um, and then when I want to reload, I just do it like that. If the game was built with knowledge of the, the Mayo in mind and kind of deeply integrated, you could even you could do something like have a, a realistic reload action. So say it could depend on what type of gun I'm carrying too. So if I have a shotgun, I reload like this. If I have a versus if I have a pistol or an assault rifle or something, the the reload action could be something much more realistic and lifelike. The idea is just like changing music um, remotely on here. And so this is iTunes we're tied in with. Mm -hmm. But just pretty simple, like, you know, next track, previous track. Um, we mapped a pretty one and two to one, like turning the volume knob here. So I can like turn it up or down. And you know, I could be like across the room. So I could be like hanging over here and be like, uh, you know what, I'm not feeling the Beatles right now. And just <laughs> change that to like the Who or like, yeah. Pretty simple, but just showing like a little application that it could, it's not a say an iPad, it could be on, same thing could be on like a TV or like, mm -hmm. you know, on your computer, your iTunes, plug in the stereo. Um, we talk about like an enable and a disable gesture, so if I'm like doing something else, in this case we map this open palm one, see to stop my disabled, and it vibrated, so now like I can do anything else, like it's not going to recognize a false gesture oh, or nice. something. Yeah, um, and then I'm going to do the same gesture, and I've got to set the holder for a second, now it's turning turn on again. So now again, it's active, and I can like turn up the volume or down. Another one here, also like pretty simple, but it just kind of shows um, the one idea. And so this is, you know, it's like a PowerPoint show, or this is a PDF in this case, but again, I'm just flipping through, scrolling through pages, basically, by going back and forth here. So, um, again, quite simple, but we're gonna do the same thing on like PowerPoint and Keynote, um, but not just going forward and back, also like annotate and like zoom in and zoom out and stuff like that on the slides as well. How many actions can Amaya actually recognize? So it's kind of in a way unlimited. So there's different versions. Like there's the muscle, purest muscle static part. So that's like my arm's not moving, no motion involved, no motion gestures. Uh, we're targeting six or seven core like poses that won't need any additional training for the user. But then you can combine all those with motion. So like grabbing out and moving something any direction or rotating it, you know, each one's a separate motion. Um, we can also do motion gestures. And so that's like if you write something in the air, you know, I do that reloading motion in the game. So we can recognize like motion paths in, in the air, which combines both muscle and motion and sensing together. So. And accelerometers, yeah. yeah. The other thing is from a, from a technical point of view, there's, there's more like gestures and poses that we can recognize, but we also have to consider the fact that, you know, if we made 30 different distinct hand gestures, that's gonna be pretty confusing and a pretty steep learning curve for someone to go and, and use that. Um, so kind of the, the approach we're taking as Stephen was describing is a small number of, of individual hand gestures combined with all that motion control to allow very rich control to fit another. Yeah, so it's currently available on thalmic.com, T-H-A-L-M-I-C.com for pre-order, 149 US dollars. Um, and so the ones pre-order now will ship some point in the first half of this year. We're currently shipping alpha ones to select partners and developers.